है गाइस वेलकम टू क्वांट लैब क्वांट लैब में आपका स्वागत है पिछले वीडियो में मैंने बात किया था क्यूलिप के बारे में सो क्यूलिप इज अ लाइब्रेरी एंड ओपन सोर्स क्वांटिटेटिव फाइनेंस प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स ह्यूज एंड आई इंटेंड टू कवर मल्टीपल पार्ट्स ऑफ द वीडियो आई ओनली डिड अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दे हैव वन अदर कॉम्पोनेंट विच इज एन आर एजेंट which is kind of a sub feature where they have autonomous evolving agent and it's a very interesting tool that can support a lot of automated analysis and you can even leverage qlib inside it rd agent is not very limited to just finance it can do a couple of more things uh, but in this conversation we are going to focus on finance so this is the demo uh, or this is the github page for rd agent it's basically rd is r and d research and development and what it does is it supports the whole research and development process so let's say you have some scenario in finance they ha- they they support an automated way to go from idea to execution and uh, here's the re- github repo for it uh, we'll actually look at the demo so i'm just going to scroll through it it's relatively easy to install and get started you can use conda activate rd agent and in the next videos i'm going to do this live uh, pretty sure Uh, I'll do that. So there's a live demo that has been implemented, and uh, I am basically going to use that. So this is the live demo. You have some sample logs. So I'm going to take financial data building, and I've already preloaded it. What is the scenario? So let me explain the concept first again. So if you see this image, you have a research idea. You want to figure out some idea or some scenario that uh, you know you have in mind, something that you want to test. then there's hypothesis generation experimentation and it keeps on looping around till you converge and then you move to a development stage so har jagah yahi hota hai what this agent helps is is doing r and d which is research and development in an automated way so it supports iterative development of ideas continuous learning and finally development and verification so there are three loops one is research second is feedback third is development so you go to next loop it will say that rd agent proposes the hypothesis so it will say that introducing a factor based on the 10 day volatility of the daily returns of the uh, predicted future return volatility because the reason is fund uh, volatility and based on certain observation that short term volatility reflects immediate market dynamics knowledge gained after doing this short term volatility is a key indicator of market sentiment etc etc and monitoring research recent fluctuation can help you around uh, you know anticipating certain price movement click on next loop it will add another parameter so previously it was 10 day volatility now it's learning 30 day volatility what did you learn from this it says that in quantitative finance longer look back period for volatility captures more stable patterns so previously it was looking at 10 day and now it's 30 day how is it knowing all of this this idea this concept has been pre baked into it this scenario has been pre baked into it so the scenario can be coded by you or like like described by you or uh, you can use a sample i am using a sample and as i said this is just an example but you can understand by looking at it what it is doing and you can keep on you know changing certain parameters like for instance there's a macro economic parameter included here uh there is a sentiment included here uh there is a combination of 60 day volatility with sentiment analysis so they are looking at multiple stages and what they are saying is you can then look at let's move forward uh you know each for each of them right there's some hype research details that are getting generated there is the whole uh, gdp sector nutrition formula getting generated there's the chart getting generated code is getting generated and you are basically just learning through this process iteratively and incrementally so that is the whole idea that this framework gives you so every concept if you see the first one was just taking 10 day so the code generated is for 10 day and it just looks at some sort of a return for 10 day you can obviously do some uh, configuration here it's based on a certain sample data set but the idea here is you can keep on iterating this multiple okay there is just 20 loops there so it, it it goes through this idea of basically financial factor evolution through continuous improvement via an automated process so you have hypothesis process reasoning 
observation and knowledge gained and what is then how is the knowledge gained uh, coming out it's coming out by looking at the research by reading it like the agent is reading it it's looking at certain formulas generating some code based on sample data and making some inferences so eventually you are uh, left with some sort of an outcome where you have a lot of matrices conclusions to your idea so all the thoughts that you had for that research and development are can be baked into something like this and all of this is automated by the way you're not doing anything except describing the scenario now a question comes ki kahan use kare ye to kuch samajh nahi aa raha ye to bahut hi complicated lag raha actually mean nahi so you can go back to framework and what what i was doing is showing you how it is running but you can use this for doing a lot of data mining yourself and i will show how to do that in future classes so basically what you will be able to do is you can add a scenario and a method to enhance your like sorry they are adding uh, more scenarios and method you can add your scenario and use the existing methods and the framework to keep on evolving your thought process in an automated way so if you have some idea around some strategy or if you have some you know analysis technique that you want to validate you can use this tool to do that it also works by the by way in like uh, even different domains like you if you take kaggle or something it will take a completely or different set of scenario like automated feature engineering and if you see again the only thing that has changed is this nothing else uh, you click on all loops it will just run through all of the scenarios in the same way it will go through the code so the framework gives you ways to automate r&d that's the core goal here and here if you look at let's say financial data model or financial data building uh, quantitative trading uh, this shows so this example which is uh, financial data building reports is feature extraction or factor extraction from financial reports so this is a different sort of demo and here they'll probably go through some different sort of matrices they're looking at a manufacturing sector and all that so this can even be used for some sort of a sectorial analysis they have some document where they are looking at and evaluating the data reading the data translating the data what not so you can use this to automate a bunch of standard things that you do and uh, gain quick results all right so this is again a framework it's an introduction to a framework not a whole uh, deep dive into it i'm going to do subsequent videos that will talk about it all right if you found these two videos interesting put in a comment and watch out for the next video please subscribe to my channel and comment if you don't like something or if you like something thank you bye bye